Islands DAO is really a marriage of Japanese inspiration brought into Chinese manufacture and design and ended up with a sword that is longer reaching <laughs> with, for the most part, a, um, a longer hilt than the typical katana anyway, and a longer blade than the typical katana so that you can outreach your opponent who's using a typical katana. Obviously, if they're using a nodachi, then that becomes a moot point, but nevertheless. Now, in terms of why crossbowmen were armed with these, you have to recognize that uh, Ming Dynasty Chinese crossbowmen were an extremely important part of the army, but when you're carrying a crossbow and bolts and you're armored as well, you can't carry an awful lot of stuff. You can't really carry a shield very easily. Um, there's, I think there's some implication they did use shields sometimes. But if you can only therefore carry one battle, you can't carry a pole arm as well, you can't carry other big things, but you can carry something that you can wear. And these were actually suspended um, from the uh, sash, essentially, um, below the belt. Pretty much how a long sword would be worn in Europe. And so this is a very, very formidable backup weapon. Now, no, they're not massive because Chinese crossbowmen had to be able to carry all of their own stuff, their crossbow, which is quite heavy, and the bolts that go with it, and this kind of stuff. So they wanted a big sword. They can't carry a shield and spear or something like that. So you want a weapon there in hand-to-hand -hand 